Hi, I'm Adam Brooks, Product Manager here at Atlas Copco. And today we'll be talking about the newest in battery powered drilling, the EBB and EBP 26. First we'll go through the different options of the drill, then into the features, and then lastly, how to use the drill. This drill has three different options, the EBB Standard, the EBB Plus, and the EBB Lite. The main difference between the light and the other options is that the light only has one p-set or one rpm speed. The EBB plus and the EBB standard have five different p-sets so that is five different rpm or speed settings that you can program on the drill. Now to get into the features of the drill as you can see the drill is very light it only weighs about 1.65 pounds and with the battery, an additional pound for a total of 2.65 pounds. The next great thing about this drill is it has a precision chuck that we have designed to ensure more accurate drilling. Also, we have a protective sleeve that prevents any injuries from having hair or loose material getting caught in between the drill and the chuck. The next feature to this drill is the wings on both sides of the drill. These are intended for your finger to rest on so you have more control over the drill and you're always at a 90 degree angle when drilling. Also, this is designed to be ambidextrous so you can use this in your left or your right hand. The other feature of this is it's very comfortable to use it's ergonomically designed to fit into almost any hand. So no matter if you have a small, medium, or large size hand, it'll feel very comfortable in this drill. The next thing is the drill has a very soft and textured grip on it. So what this does is it prevents the drill from hopping or bouncing in your hand while operating it. The next feature that we have is the trigger that can be programmed for a two-step or a progressive type process. The next feature of this drill is the indicator screen that shows the different P-sets or programs that you've set using Toolstock Service 2 software. So to unlock and get into the different settings, you simply hold the left button down until you see the lock disappear and then you can toggle through the different speeds. The first setting that we have here is 5,500 with the progressive trigger. So what this does is the more pressure that you put on the trigger, the faster and more RPMs you would get out of the drill. The next P-set is 1,000 slash 3,300. This is the two-step trigger. So the first pull of the trigger is at 1,000 RPMs, and the second pull is at 3,300 RPMs. This is great when drilling through multiple or stacked types of material. Also, you can name what this setting is. So for this particular setting, 1,000 and 3,300, you could name this titanium for the 1000 and aluminum for the 3300. The next feature is the work light. So you can toggle on and off the work light, but this has been designed to ensure that the work light is pointed directly at the chuck or the drill bit. So you can see exactly what you're doing when you're drilling that specific material. We also have a cutter usage built in to this drill to ensure that your bit is always optimal when drilling through different material. This will have a warning that's set. You can set this also using Tools Talk Service 2 to ensure that you always have a fresh bit when it is needed. It also has a maintenance indicator service alarm that you can set after so many drill cycles 
or we recommend that you maintain the drill at least once per year. Now we'll get into the EBP26. This has the same great features as the EBB. However, as you can see, this is a modular type drill and you can change the different attachments depending on whatever application you need. So on this application, we're gonna be using a right angled attachment. You simply pull the sleeve here until the drill attachment locks in. And then you can simply pull the sleeve and rotate the attachment in a 360 degree pattern. This is also set for 12 different angles, which will ensure that you get the right angle every time. That wraps up the different features in how to use the EBB and EBP26. But if you have any additional questions, please reach out to your Atlas Copco representative and they'll get you the answers as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.